Right, morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm in front of the camera for a change, give Matt a bit of a break. Um, we've made it this morning to the Galloway Forests. Uh, it was cloudy when we set off, we thought that would be a good light, it's getting more sunnier and hotter now. But um, hope to get some, uh, some decent shots. We've came across uh, several compositions of the woodland, um, this nice stone wall that you can see to the left of the frame, um, the rocks are all covered in moss. Now ideally uh, we really need to be hitting this location when it's wet because then mosses will be really punchy, really green and really vibrant. At the minute they're not, they're very yellow and dry. However, the, the image still works um, and we will take these images um, and potentially come back when it has uh, chucked it down with water. So you can see in the composition to the left there we have the wall leading you down to the middle. We have on the opposite side this row of rocks that's leading you into the middle as well and it's also framed each side by the trees. Um, now the problem we've got here is the light as you can see it's very very bright and um, so we do do have dark shadows and we do have very very light highlights so that is causing a bit of a problem but you can see this composition works and it's really quite nice uh, a bit of dodging and burning my plan for this one i think will be black and white however i'll likely uh, see what it's like in color as well so here's the image see what you think As you can see we've walked further along the path and Tony's came across this nice little scene um, the heather's almost at its best it's really quite vibrant purple magenta colors poking through in between all the green um, so this one's all about the color um, it caught Tony's eye as you can see Tony's using handheld You'll hear a lot of landscape photographers talking about tripods and having it on a tripod for every single shot. You do not need to. Tony's got on the front of there, he has a, a circular polarizer on um, and he'll probably half polarize it or fully polarize it one shot and then um, take the polarizer away for the second shot. And that'll be just taking a bit of sheen off the green, uh, green leaves. It's a nice image, see what you think. Leave a comment, let us know.
Okay, so we're walking back towards the uh, car park and back up the, the path. When we came down, we noticed this scene. Now, this scene that we were interested in photographing goes a bit further down. However, we're not going to take that image today because we want to wait until it's wet and it's at its best. So we will come back and take that image and show you when it is at its best. However, with half the composition, with in front of the, the lens there, we've got this, these really new growth um, ferns that have just kind of popped up. They're really green, really nice. And behind it, we've got uh, mossy rocks and then an old oak tree. Um, really high dynamic range, so we're having to um, take several shots and then we'll join them together um, just to cover the full range. Settings for this shot is f11. ISO 100 and the shutter speed is 13th of a second and as I said we've varied um, over the several shots that we'll join together at different shutter speeds um, but I have kept the aperture at f11 throughout all the images. Okay see what you think. I just like to take the opportunity of uh, sort of saying things about ourselves. Um, Max, my son-in-law, we've been out photographing for a few years now. Yeah, we? Yeah, we, uh, we shoot both shoot with a Canon 5D. Mine's the Mark III. Max is the Mark IV, uh, which means we can interchange stuff, provided it doesn't drop things in the water. <laughs> I am known uh, to do that. <laughs> We both um, we both use the same lenses, so primarily three lenses. Yeah, which are uh, the Tamron 24 to 70, the um, Canon 70 to 200 70 to uh, f4, and the wide angle we use the Canon L series. Is it 17 to 40? That one. Yeah, 17 to 40. Yeah. 17 yeah. to 40, which yeah. is now, all three lenses um, cover all the focal needs. Um, and we never, sometimes we find ourselves needing more, but very rarely. So, I mean, the three lenses do do as well. Yeah. Yeah, and um, we, we're slightly different in uh, our approach to maybe post processing. We definitely, um, after we take them, we're always usually at the same locations, and we usually get very similar compositions. But what you'll find is you will notice the difference on the videos of whose is whose because we do process them very differently. So the same scene will look quite different. Um, I would totally process completely different to Tony, which as he says, is a good thing. Um, and art's an eye of the beholder. So, you know, I see different things. Tony sees different things, which is really good. Yeah, and uh, we're trying now to um, get sort of different compositions, maybe of the same area. Um, so it's just make it sort of slightly different, you know, but, uh, it's uh, it, it's quite a problem really because you see something we both sort of like it and we think well you know variation on it yeah, really isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. yeah I think we do a good job of it um, yeah. yeah no we enjoy we enjoy going out we go out as much as we can as you can see we, we, we use the forester mostly don't we yeah yeah 
and we've both got full-time jobs virtually so content we can't really do it on a regular basis no. can we you no. know so uh, we try to get out what we can when we can really just yeah. bear with us um, as I said we will we will keep it going um, but it won't be on a weekly basis as Tony says we do both work yeah. um, but the the content will stick will keep coming um, yeah and we're trying to post as much as we can on Instagram so you check that out on a regular basis because uh, sometimes we've got more on there yeah um, it's easier to put it on there than yeah. it is to do yeah go on, on. yeah go on to Instagram follow us um, hit the like uh, button and give us a thumbs up and um, it really entices us to go out more and, and give us that motivation um, and we like the comments yep, yep. Any, any comments bad or good yep yep just keep, keep them coming yep. um, Anything yeah. else you want to see, um, then let us know. We will be looking at trying to, um, I certainly will be looking at trying to um, take you through camera settings and, and, and our approach um, to how, how we are seeing the scene. Yeah. So bear with us, like and subscribe. Thanks again. Keep following. Thanks a lot. Take see you care. later. See you soon.